Welcome back to another episode of the Bad Ideas Garage. I'm Steven and this is Paul and he is my chariot of fire over here to these fire trucks. Yeah, see what I did there? Uh, today we are firing up this uh, Dodge D350 Rescue that yes, it is a replica of the famous Squad 51 vehicle from the show Emergency. We're gonna see if we can get it running and we have to move it to our church, which is kind of a sad story. And so Paul is here not only for the physical support, but the emotional support. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Uh, so we're gonna see if we can get this thing running and get it over to the church. We're gonna open this up. Oh, jeez. Okay, so Chris said he put in a new radiator. Looks like there's a new radiator in there. New hoses and yeah. Okay, so this is just gonna, I just wanna make sure that this is gonna be clear of anything that's moving. Mm -hmm. Where? Okay, he took out the air pumps. Yeah, Let I'll us. Those over. Thank you for the smart You're things. Welcome. Okay, all right. So, okay, yes, this is real dirty. Keys are right here. <laughs> so that's what we got. This is very Chrysler. You know what, before that, let's check the oil. Let's check the oil, just, just, just in case. Freaking long oil stick, okay. Uh, okay, there's some in it. A little low, but we're fine. So this is, uh, this is carbureted. So, <laughs> let me do a little bit of this, this section here. Any reactions? Okay. All right. Hey, it's idling. Okay. Pretty clean exhaust. There we go. Paul, we're going to look at everything, which is exciting. Uh, these tires, as you can tell from the Toyo, <laughs> they're old. Um, pretty sure the owner told me that the ones on the inside um, are original. <laughs> I like that that's how your reaction is. Okay. Um, these also look old. There's, I don't think that there's any way. Okay. Um, I, I think he said that these were replaced at some point. There's some cracking, some cracking well, yeah. around the outside from lack yeah, of being driven. 2001. Looks like. Okay, 2001. All right. Are there any date codes on these? This is in theory possibly 05. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, yeah, so uh, we'll go through a bunch of this other stuff later. All right, so Paul wants me to, we'll do this right now. Uh, we're gonna go through all of these little cubbies. Oh, oh no, but who has a key? All right, there you go. I will have hey, you. Are we talking Spanish again? Yeah. A key? <laughs> a key, see. Uh -huh. There we go, okay. Oh, wow. All right, so we yeah, have. Kind of jaws of life in there? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, uh, and Mike was, you know, avid about all this stuff. So that is period correct. Uh, he told me, again, this is all, this is all hearsay. Wow. But he was an avid, um, you know, collector of all this stuff. So we got Jaws of Life. Is it the same key for all of them? Uh, no idea. What well, key fits? Like Cinderella shoe. Oh, okay, this one has a Michelin tire on the outside. Let's notice that. That's one. With lots of cracks on it. Jeez. Ozone checking. Okay. Oh, so sorry. All right. Yeah, I know how this going to work. Anyways. All right. Oh, wow. So we got air tank, compressor, tool kit. Oh, Sublimity Fire Department. We get Chrysler Outboard Corporation. That's old school. So all of this, for the record, is going to the Oregon Fire Museum up in Brooks. Brooks, Oregon. That's where they have Powerland, where they do the steam up every single year. It's a lot of fun. Are you going? Yeah, sure. Okay, no. yes. You yeah. should go. You should go. Uh, oh, okay. Some tools. Yeah, not bad. Oh, oh that's cool. Nice. Hey, look at that. Haha, <laughs> fancy. And then, ready? Two hand. Okay. Okay. Wow, okay. Oh, wow. Your, uh, air tanks. Your air tanks, your respirators and whatnot. Yeah. There we go. I like how these are, it's kind of random what keys go to what. Yeah. <laughs> Which would probably not be the best thing in, a, in an emergency situation. Which key is it? I don't know. And then you have Paul over there be like, a key, a key, haha, get it. It's Spanish, it's funny. It's Spanish. Yeah. Espanolo. All right. Ooh, okay. Saw, yeah. Okay, some, yeah, yeah, yeah. some ropes. Okay, so. 
Uh, fun fact. So the back of this used to be an ambulance. So this body came from an ambulance and there is a shop, I wanna say in Eugene, that turned it into this body. Um, and then the front part of it, uh, the chassis, I guess you could say, came from Lane County, um, like Department of Forestry or something he said. So this is a smorgasbord of a bunch of things, but he really wanted to have Squad 51 and uh, he got it. Pretty accurate representation. Paul, being the wise gentleman that he is, figured out that maybe we should open these up before we start, you know, filming again. So, I uh, got some cones, some more tools that are nicely organized and neat, some more tools. Gosh, there's just tons of stuff in here. It's just like, it's like medic stuff. Yeah, okay. So there's just all sorts of stuff. And again, all of this is going to a fire museum. Uh, not much to see in the interior. Some more stuff. And this is a Oh, engineered Ram Tough. There we go. I feel much better about my entire life right now. This was uh, just a D350 chassis that was used for, you know, work. So it doesn't really have any creature comforts in here. And even if it had things like air conditioning, I highly doubt it works. <laughs> the lights are going off. I'm putting but the lights on. off, but on. Okay, we're going to do that. So, okay, I'm just going to do a little bit of this. Okay, my accessory mode. Let's see if this awesome stereo works. Okay. okay, it works. All right, so turn the headlights on. Got that. Let me see here. Okay, so I got all the radios. All right, I have a feeling that that is... Is that the top bar? Top bar. Okay. All the bar. But no drinks. Ooh, that's right. All right, okay. Sweet. All right, and while we're out here, so I'll turn these off. Turn that off. Um, we can do... Turn this up just a little bit and we'll do a that's fun okay that's that that's loud <laughs> that's really loud okay that's really loud too okay uh i think we just upset the sheep so they're not as sheepish as they thought i was all right so paul yes. you said you wanted to fire up the fire truck Okay, and you seem very excited <laughs> you're taking your own video. That's how excited you are about it. Here's the starting procedure. I'm going to have you sit in the cockpit, but first I'm going to undo our chargers. We're gonna go from there. Absolutely massive batteries that are thankfully pretty new. Oh, jeepers. Yeah, where's the engine? That's crazy. Yeah, so you can see. Holy shnankies. Shnankies are not holy. Mm, true. Okay, so, all right. Pants so, are them. <laughs> your pants? Yeah, I got three holes in them. Oh, huh, okay. Also, I wanna see your reaction from the other side because wait, there's two batteries. I do. And we think that your turbo is big. Look at that. <laughs> That's a turbo. <laughs> that is a turbo. Wow. Alrighty, so in theory, because this has been charging for, you know, the last couple months, we should be able to get it to start. First things first is that you want to Speaky, speaky. <laughs> uh, dreams come true here? Yes. Okay, so right behind you, on to the right, there is a main switch. You want to turn that to both. It's one, two. That should be both. So then, go ahead and hit the ignition switch. It says ignition. Okay, when this starts, it is going to be loud. Just a little heads up. I don't know why it's doing that. The accelerator pedal is also going to, uh, like crazy, make all sorts of noise. Okay. okay. It shouldn't move. <laughs> if not, there's the brake. Air, air brakes, yeah, but, you know, they're going to charge up. Low air. Yeah. yeah, low air. And it's going to make a really loud buzzing noise until that happens. And then uh, we're probably going to asphyxiate at some point. So then we can just exit. Nice. <laughs> or, or we can drive it out. If you want to drive it around. No, that's okay. 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 Yeah. We so, both got stuff. Okay. In that case, the uh, parking brake should be... Enabled, right? Yeah. Okay, so the parking brake's on, and you'll see that it is in uh, neutral, right? Yep. It's in neutral gear. Okay, there you go. All right, so yeah, you have to press these two buttons really, really hard. Which two buttons? The one, sorry. A and B? Yes. Okay, the, start, the, start. The two ones that say start. Start, start. Yep. Okay. And hold them until it goes. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Happy camper? Yeah. All right. 
ready. Sweet. It's idling really well. We're Feeling building pressure. building air pressure. So we have a. Uh, all right, so we got good fuel. Yeah. Got good oil pressure. We're making the electricity. It just damps. It's cold. Obviously, it's cold. Yep. All right, we're making your dreams come true, and there's lots of smoke in here. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Asphyxiation. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so we'll uh, undo the procedure. You know. Undo the batteries, and then we gotta get going. This is why we can't have nice things. Uh, Cedric, could you please give the full service today? See, sir. See, senor. <laughs> so, famous last words from Paul. What could possibly go wrong? So, I actually drove this down to the town pump in town. It's a couple miles. That's basically the only time that I know that's been driven any time recently. I'm a little nervous. Um, the tires are cracked and we don't have to take it very far. So here's the journey. I'm just a little nervous. All right, first thing I notice, uh, it's a Chrysler V8. It's carbureted. It's a little cold blooded. Second thing that I notice, uh, this is, it's big, not too big. Third thing I notice, brakes, not good. Really not good. So again, I, I drove it a couple miles, actually drove it to a friend's house let his kids see all the stuff and didn't realize at that time that the radiator was blown. So now it's got a new radiator in it. All the instrumentation is showing good. It has about a quarter tank of gas, which is uh, actually I put the ethanol free gas in it, put like seven gallons in it. So that stuff should be good and has fuel stabilizer in it. So here we go. are not bad they're just not good okay turn hey okay steering feels good got new belts on it one of the things I love about some of these older rigs is these little wing windows okay I'm doing like okay wing windows in a second I'm doing 50 it's a little squirrely it's it's no over these bumps it's it's really squirrely um, there is a bunch of weight in the back with all those tools that I showed you, but I'm not sure if these tires are happy with me with what I'm doing. So I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take the back back roads. Anyways, these little wing windows that are stuck shut. Okay, so it's stuck shut, but I really like that because that's a good way to get a lot of air in here uh, really quickly. Another thing, this is not fast, and I'm not pressing the accelerator very hard given that the oil in here is probably 15-ish years old. It just, it, it's laboring. Uh, we're taking it easy here. All the gauges show okay, besides some random light that says check engine or maintenance required. Who knows what that means? Okay, we're cresting, cresting the hill. Are we going to make it? Yeah, ooh, nice Miata. Ooh, it's for sale. All right, we made it. Something smells really warm in here. Okay, my temperature's doing okay, but something smells real warm. say driving this a couple people have gone by I mean it's really dirty but people are like what's that older folks will recognize this from the famous squad 51 from the show emergency but a lot of young people don't remember that show or even know what it is um, but either way I mean you're driving around in a rescue vehicle I hope no one thinks that I'm official by any capacity it's actually driving really nicely. No idea what that smell was. Again, this, this car has been driven like 15 years, and I gotta say, it's doing great. Aha, there is an overdrive off button. I should have turned that off because, yep, there it goes. Turns off the overdrive unit. And back on. It actually works. It was a little bit of a risk. Should have turned that out, off up those hills. Uh, I remember my dad had, it's another personal. What the heck I am, slowing down. My dad had this button in some of his older Chrysler vans and I was like, why don't they just do that automatically? This is old. It's a 1990 and still has a carburetor on it, which I think is pretty impressive. 20 mile an hour turn. Can't really late brake in this because these brakes, you gotta, you gotta really stand on them, but it's actually not as, uh, not as much 
body roll as I thought it would have. I mean, you gotta get really back on that throttle to keep things going. But it actually drives way nicer than I thought. I really wouldn't take this very far with the tires though, just because of how many cracks there were on them. I gotta say, this is quite the beautiful place to live though. We are here. Made it. So, uh, made it, and that distinct burning smell that I uh, figured out. What is that, Paul? Dual kissing. Mm, sounds interesting. As the two rear wheels touching as you're driving Oh, fun. Okay. Well, uh, we made it. We made it, though. That's cool. That's, uh, let's check under the hood. Uh, unusually heavy. Okay, I'm going to employ you to move that up. All right. The water pump is pumping. That's good. Did it on you? Nope. Good. Nope, ran good. Ran really good. Uh, the power steering didn't work when we first um, started working on it too because the belt was bad and Chris replaced that, which is good. Um, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut her down. Cause you can even see it right there, how they're kissing. Oh yeah. And I don't know if it was both sides cause I can see this more straight on from being the driver. The there, here there's, the there's one more. What? What's in here? Oh, even more stuff. Oh, it's, oh, it's like a sled. Yeah, so it's people, a people sled. Yeah, people sled. Better term for it. It is a because it looks like one that you can take up in helicopter. Oh yeah, just in case we ever need to do that. All right, so we made it, Paul. Thank you for driving behind me to make sure that I, you know, didn't die. So as I mentioned, we're going to mention why these are heading over here to uh, our church. Uh, is because the owner of this, he unfortunately died a couple weeks ago, and this was his pride and joy, and his memorials coming up. And because I was primarily taking care of them, um, the family said, hey, would you get them over to the church for the memorial? And from here, I can clean it up. You know, it have, hasn't been cleaned, hasn't been washed in a very long time. So I know that um, that means a lot to the family. So that's why it's here. That's our video. And thanks for being along on the ride with us. I'm very glad that we made it. I hope you enjoyed seeing our famous Squad 51 in this 1990 uh, Dodge D350. Uh, as always, like and subscribe below. Maybe we'll get some Paul in some of our future videos. He's kind of famous, kind of a big deal. But thanks for supporting our channel, and we'll catch you next time. I'm sorry, you got overridden by a, by a very, very happy two-year-old. Are you a firefighter? Yeah?